Another Giant Gun, a story by user farmwitch4275. They built a giant gun. Again. But no, this was different. Not like the other giant gun they built, or that giant gun they built that other time. No, this was an actual giant gun. I stood on the concrete slab supporting the strange contraption. This one sitting on a human garden world. I held my head in my hands as they proudly stood in front of me with smiles on their faces. Why? I asked simply. Why not? came the simple response as I was led on a tour. Under most circumstances, we would simply be inspecting the planet's defenses, making sure they simply were up to code and couldn't shatter a planet accidentally 10,000 years from now, to make sure their targeting systems would not miss, to make sure they couldn't cause any severe collateral damage. Humans were a different breed of beast. They made absolutely sure that every single gun could shatter a star in half, and never miss. This? This was nothing but stupid. Even for humans, this was a dumb concept. A dumb execution, just plain fucking dumb. I was shown around the structure, and they pointed at the stock of the giant gun. I simply looked at him and asked why. He simply smiled and said, why not? He showed me the giant mechanical arm they crafted out of a starship factory assembly mechanism. He showed me how it pulled the giant gun's trigger, and performed various loading actions, including a demonstration of how it was used to remove a jam. I looked at him and asked why. He smiled and simply said, why not? He showed me the way the barrel was made, and how the barrel had to be replaced after so many shells were fired. He told me the shells had fired were 30 inch high explosive shells. He showed me the firing mechanism and explained how it worked. I looked at him and asked him why. He simply smiled and said, why not? He then showed me the loading mechanism, an obscenely complicated gigantic mechanical arm mimicking the movements of a human arm as they demonstrated the way the gun loaded. A giant clip of ammunition weighing hundreds of tons is lifted a quarter mile off the ground and slid into a chamber on the top of the gun. The bullets are then pushed down by the giant mechanical finger, and the weapon is loaded as the three-ton clip is discarded to the left. I looked at him and asked why. He simply looked at me and said, why not? He then handed me the button to fire with a smile. If you tell me you don't want to see this thing fire, I will look you in the eyes and call you a liar. I sighed. I once again asked why, only to receive a smile as I pushed the button. The giant gun fired, and the massive amount of recoil from the 30-inch shell made the whole platform shudder, and the gun moved back about 30 feet before the catching mechanism forced it forward again. In quick succession, the gun fired seven more shells, the process repeating to the happy sounds of every human in the area, squealing with delight. The last shell fired let out a sudden metallic noise, like a giant sword being hit by a giant tuning fork. The empty casings from the shells blasted out the right side and dented the ground they landed on, pooling in a huge hole in the ground where a massive 60-ton crane was waiting to collect them. I looked at him and asked him why. He simply smiled back and said, Why not? at an annoyingly loud volume. I watched with morbid fascination as the enormous monstrosity was loaded again with a giant mechanical arm. I held my head in my hands, out of sheer despair at this point, as I looked at the amount of shells that they were ready to fire. I heard a human voice appear behind me. What the hell's going on here? It was the human admiral, the commander of the military garrison in charge of the sector. He took one look at the weapon in front of him and held his head in his hands as well. He stayed there for a few moments and let out a silly, annoyed chuckle. Did... did you seriously, seriously, build a giant 30-inch M1 Garand? He asked them as he looked at me. Yep, they all said as they smiled at him, as if they had genuinely accomplished something important. He stood beside me as I slowly lowered my head. I looked at him, disappointed. I sighed and officially gave up, slowly raising my hand to let him have a turn with the big red button. Like an excited child, he pressed it, and the weapon went through its firing sequence, ending with a grand and glorious ping. Once again, the assembled crowd cheered with glee, letting out a mighty oorah as the gun pinged. One final time, I asked them why. They simply responded, Why not?
Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you're new here, welcome aboard. Check out the description for the story and join the Discord if you like. Consider supporting the channel and the author as well. It's a dangerous world out there, but remember to be brave and look up to seek the stars. Thank you.